Free the dog! Hello! <laughs> this is my challenge. That. Oh, I'm talking. I'm sorry. What is she like? What was that? I'm building a bed! Uh, so the baby is getting closer and closer. And what do babies need? Beds. A baby needs a bed to sleep in. So we are about, well I say we, I am. I am about to build a bed. Well yeah, when I say bed, I mean cot. Bunk beds away. <laughs> I'm building bunk beds for the baby boy. This is me making a bed. I mean a cot, not a bed. I was hoping for this to be one of those time lapses where everything <laughs> looked quite smooth. But instead, you're watching me struggle to build a pram. Oh, not a pram, a cot. Why don't you read the instructions? I, I have read the instructions, I'm doing step one. I'll, I'll see. Look at that squat. <laughs> we're getting there now, we're getting there. Adult to baby POD. Hi. Whoa, that's kind of nice. I think we're nearly there. I haven't done the bottom bit. So the next bit, the storage. People, when my son grows up, be like, "So who built your who built your first bed?" And he can watch this video back and be like, "My dad built that. Took him a while, but he built it." Maybe I should do a um a baby bed thumbnail. Maybe that's lame. Let's not use that. You seem a bit tired. From building the bed? Yeah. Yeah, I thought it would be faster, but it wasn't. Trustful. <laughs> you can't me. <laughs> right, just a quick one. Who invented a pram for dogs? I literally cannot fathom why a dog needs a pram. In fact, someone literally just walked past right now with a, a dog pram and the dog was walking next to the pram and I thought, dogs are meant to walk. Dogs literally have four legs, twice as many legs as a human. If you want a dog pram, get a dog pram. I'm sure your dog will love you for it. In fact, I might start some kind of petition to get dog prams banned. A dram, should we call it a dram from now on? Ban the dram, ban the dram. If you take your dog out of the house for a walk, but you've put them in a dog pram, are you tricking yourself into thinking that your dog's been on a walk? Because your dog's not been on a walk, your dog's been on a sit. You're fooling yourself, because you're gonna have to take your dog out again, because they've not been on a walk, they've been on a sit. They've sat in a dog pram. Ah! <sighs> Okay, so I just want to say sorry for being so passionate about dog prams. If you have a dog pram, there is absolutely zero condemnation. In fact, reach out, explain to me why dog prams are a good idea. I'm here to listen, I'm here to learn. Um, and maybe once I've spoken to you, I might, buy, I might buy a dog pram. Don't have a dog, but could get a dog pram. I'm sorry. Having a dog pram doesn't make you any less of a human. It does not make you any less. People are gonna look at you funny though. People will look at you funny. Let me tell you, that is a warning from me. You may lose friends, but you probably will gain a lot of friends because there's a lot of people that have dog prams and I'm sure all of those people probably hang out together. Oh my gosh, I've just spotted the woman with the dog pram. <laughs> the dog's back in the pram. Should I ask her what her dog's name is? <laughs> there's literally a dog in the pram. <laughs> Free the dog! And I know your dog can walk, because I saw it walking. <laughs> I saw it walking earlier. That's mine. You don't like one. Yes, I do. No, you don't. But you, you've literally helped yourself to all of my chips. <laughs> whilst I've been you, driving. You don't, you don't like corn, though. Well, you should have asked. You want some corn? <laughs> so this evening, we've come to a hot spot in Brighton. The one and only. Double D. Oh, I've I've... Just trust us that it looks nice. No, I'm going to show you. <laughs> I've come to the glorious Devil's Dyke. Would you look at that? 
Would you look at that? We've come to Devil's Dyke and have fish and chips. Oh, scampi. Do you know what scampi is? Don't. You don't know what it is. You guys already. It. <laughs> it's not. Yeah, it is. It's not fish balls. Testicles. Chopped off a salmon. <laughs> <laughs> Salmon's testicle. Mm -hmm. Scampi. Oh, they taste delicious. Thank you, Mr. Salmon. Okay. They're looking at these people. Who are what those things? People? go through your head that you like because we can shout because they can't hear us not shout but say tell them okay but to describe like over there mm. there's a family of five three small children probably under the age of what like six the oldest mm -hmm. one maybe mum mm -hmm. and dad like have a little camping set up what would you want to shout at them i don't know if i'd want to shout at them i'd probably want to like say like oh your kids are really well behaved and like i would say where did you get your camp chair from <laughs> I was gonna like encourage them <laughs> for like being good parents and you just shouted. Like when I was younger and sitting in assembly. I in assembly? Look, in assembly and then you have all these, you know, it's dead quiet and you, you know, no one makes it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Thumbnail? Is that something else from the salmon? <laughs> when you're in assembly when you were younger and it was like dead quiet. We sang songs in our assembly. Yeah. Cross over the road, my friend. <laughs> When you're in assembly and it's really quiet and you're all supposed to be best on your best behaviour. Best behaviour. And then all the rude things in your head start going and you just want to shout something. Did you ever have that? Sometimes I would feel like, oh my gosh, don't say it. In primary school. Yeah, or? then pic picture myself. Mm -hmm. I'd picture myself sh like standing up saying like, I hate you, Mrs. Hull. In primary school, I was the junior road safety officer, so I, <laughs> you would never catch me misbehaving. <laughs> I was making sure everyone got to school safely. I was on the school council. Where were you? <laughs> I had a bad. But to be honest, the school council was a little bit less than the junior road safety officer. <laughs> Not on my school. Well, did your school have a junior road safety <laughs> officer? I bet they didn't because it's very niche. <laughs> very niche, but very powerful mm. position mm -hmm. in year four. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> Did you ever get in trouble at school? No, I was quite good at school, primary school. I was always put with the naughty ones because apparently I calmed them down. In and their they, classes? That or? on their tables, like, okay, Ellie, so right, if we put you with Callum because he's, you know, he, you know what he's like. What would you want to say to this man? Get a proper dog. <laughs> Probably. Look, are you wearing shorts or trousers because you got... <laughs> They're a little bit halfway in between at the moment, and I want to clarify of what are they. Excuse me! Shorts or trousers, mate! I can't tell! <laughs> don't, dumb. don't, don't, don't. Excuse me! <laughs> Do yourself a favour! Put the pie down! <laughs>